Hello there, my name is Paul Ellis and I run a cookery school in West Sussex. And what you're going to see today is only a snip of what we can do. Have a look, the food is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you today how to cook Brussels sprouts my way. So I'm just going to take off the tops, take off that stalk, and what I normally do is I just do a little crisscross on, on top. And that just helps to penetrate when cooking to get inside and, and, and cook it quicker. It just breaks it down. So a nice little crisscross there. So as I'm talking to you now, I've got my, uh, my water boiling. And what also I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some salt to the, uh, the water. So here we have our Brussels sprouts. I have my boiling water straight in. Now they're quite bigger so, um, than normal, so they're gonna take a bit more longer. So we're looking at about a good, a good five minutes for those, but I'm gonna just double check because they could take longer or less, so it all depends. Got some cold water, so when they're coming to the point where they're cooked, I'll take them out straight into cold water and that will stop the cooking process. That will, it's called refreshing. Add some salt to the water, increase the temperature, and get a nice faster boil. Because we're looking to keep the colour of our Brussels sprouts, hence why I'm putting them into ferociously boiling water to keep the colour, to keep the crispness, and to well, just cook perfectly. So, um, a little tip as well if you are bored of just boiling your Brussels sprouts, get a grater, grate your Brussels sprouts down in a pan, olive oil and butter, some red onion, sweat them off. Through the oven, just cook them, cook them through. Take them out, add a bit of creme fraiche to them. And really, really, really nice. So my Brussels sprouts come to the boil now. It's good to have your boiling water. Keeps the colour. In the restaurants, chef will always cook their green vegetables in boiling water only. Keeps that lovely colour. Yeah, and they'll always have a pan of cold water ready to refresh their vegetables always. So I'm just gonna check. No harm in you taking one out, cut into a four, and just try one. Still quite crunchy. So if you like them soft, obviously leaving them a bit longer, so I'm just gonna put that back. So I reckon about another two to three minutes. So let's just check them now, just take one out. Lovely, cut them really nice. They're not overcooked, I've still got my color. Absolutely, exactly where I want them. Not overcooked, perfectly. And again, I've, I've kept my colour. In, in, in my eyes, I've got the perfect Brussels sprout. I've got the colour, I've got the crunch, and they look good. And that's how I cook my Brussels sprouts. 